live and I have got a quote for you. It's from Jim Jones, uh, consider them my fitness family. Did their fully certified instructor thing. Went there for like four years and I'll be going back there soon. And, and here's the quote, there's no such thing as overtraining, just under recovery. And it's so true, right? Everyone, you know, everyone can go hard. And now going hard is, is awesome and, and it's, it's, like, it's like the new thing in fitness, high intensity, P90X, CrossFit, Strongman, all this stuff, which uh, I implement a lot. But the, but, but the problem with it is no one wants to recover from it, right? Everyone wants to go, 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 and then no recover. So I get a lot of guys and, and, and gals who um, live super high stress lives, uh, they got intense jobs or they're, they're leading their family, they're just slammed all the time and they think that, that by training hard, they, they can overcome lack of sleep, they can overcome lack of rest, they can come over that. And just remember, you only grow when you recover. Like You do not grow in the gym when you're physically training. You might grow mentally in terms of mental strength, but physically, physiologically, you're, not, you're breaking down muscle or if it's the aerobic system, you're training the aerobic system, but you really grow once you've rested. And here's the issue, a lot of people just aren't resting. So I see this a lot in high intensity performance gyms and, and stuff like that. It's uh, people hit a plateau really quickly because they're training so goddamn hard, they're usually not eating enough and they're not recovering en enough and that's just a, what I call a napalm bomb for your ho hormones and all the stuff under the hood. So. I'm gonna list seven recovery strategies that you can implement today. And, uh, and and listen, they're not the funnest thing in the world. They're not super sexy. It's so much sexier to go out and get crushed and hit a workout like Murph or do, holy shit, what was that thing? Crazy, crazy flies here in, uh, <laughs> I'm paranoid in Arizona. So here are seven ways. Number one, ice bath. Love this, you can do a contrast shower if you don't have an ice bath. Um, actually in Arizona, I, I can't get the water cold enough to do an ice bath, but ice bath is awesome. Get, get three, you know four or five bags of ice, put them in there, 15, 20 minutes, you're good to go. I'm not gonna argue about ice or no ice, it's like the new thing, it just works, use it. It, it, it mentally and physically makes you feel amazing, rejuvenated, or you can do a plunge pool or a contrast shower, 30 seconds of super cold water, 30 seconds warm, do that for about five, six, seven sets, make sure the water's super cold. Number two is uh, just plain old sleep, man, like one more hour of sleep a night, Five more hours of sleep per week is just, it's gonna crush any supplement on the market. No matter what you do, unless it's illegal, you're gonna, uh, the, the, the sleep is gonna be crucial. It's so underestimated. Number three, massage, holy shit. If I get bitten during this video, it's all my fault. Uh, number three, massage. Every couple weeks, get a massage. People are used to like, oh man, like a massage, they feel guilty about splurging on it. That's, that's, not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about recovery. And I know you're busting ass in the gym and you need to be able to mobilize those joints and move. That's number three. Number four is yoga. Now there's two types of yoga. Yoga that's super intense and physical and more recur recovery yoga. I would recommend the latter if you're training hard in the gym to do the, the easy yoga, the restorative, the yin, whatever it's called. Super easy, maybe throw in some meditation in there. I think that was what, number four? Number five, meditate. Start your day off or end your day off with some meditation. Even one minute, two minutes, three minutes, just get into that mode allowing yourself to relax. The research is out there. It does wonders physiologically and also mentally for, 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 for everything you're doing. Uh, the next one, foam roll. Super crucial. It just opens up the, uh, the, the stuff inside the tissues of the muscle and all that. It allows you to just expand stuff that's tight, especially if you sit a lot, you got a desk job. Foam roll, but I'm not saying just do it for like three minutes. Do 20 minutes, right? Three times a week. Just set the, set the alarm for 20 minutes and foam roll and, uh, and you'll see the benefits from that. Uh, the next one is Z1 work, and what I call this is just like, if at your most sore, what you wanna do is get some blood flow, but you don't wanna go too hard where you're actually uh, stopping the recovery process. So I call this Z1, it's just, it means conversational. So go out with someone, go for a run, go for a jog, do something where you can actually talk to them, right? And it can just be a walk, it can be a 60 minute walk, it can be like a 30 minute, just a light run, if you have an Aerodyne bike or some type of bike, but just keep the intensity low. The point is just to get blood flow so you can recover faster. I think that's six or seven, but uh, my last one is to fish oil and vitamin D3. Two supplements I recommend highly. I just think they're crucial for recovery. Um, I don't think they can replace any of the stuff that we talked about earlier, but I think they're part of a healthy program, healthy recovery program. So just get it in your mind. Ask yourself, am I recovering enough? Am I, you know, a lot of times I'll have clients on Sundays, that would be the recovery day, and I'll prescribe, because I know if I just say do it, they won't do it. I'll prescribe a little routine for them to hit at the gym, something with yoga, something with stretching, something with uh, rest and restoration, because um, your ability to, re to recover increases your capacity, which allows you to grow and get fitter, get stronger, and all that fun stuff. So quick one for you guys, or actually longer than I wanted to for you guys. 
But just remember, there's no such thing as overtraining, just under recovery. Get out there, get mobilized, and uh, drop me a line. If you have any, if you have anything you recommend on here, I, I try to keep it simple, uh, but there's a lot of more techniques out there like cryotherapy and acupuncture and all that cool stuff that you can post under here. Guys, have a badass day. I'll see you on the blog, Tommy Baker.